we're not in our usual spot. Nope. No, we're on the floor. Well, I am. We're eating lunch. I am at atting. I'm atting my poke bowl. And you are having. I have potatoes with schnitzel. Okay. Ooh. Vegan schnitzel. Vegan schnitzel. The reason why we uh, why we are here and not over there yet is because it is actually 1:45 p.m. And that is because uh, I spent the morning uh, recording a podcast for Nagapodan and I just got here and now we are having lunch and we're gonna watch of course RuPaul's Drag Race RuPaul's Drag Race And after that I'm gonna do my hand yeah. uh, Woo! So we're gonna do nails today! I'm gonna redo this sucker uh, Because the outgrowth is massive. massive It even has like a name Shell so we're gonna fix that. We're gonna do nails today, and I have a craving for something black and white. Ooh. Mm -hmm. But now we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna do that. So yeah, let's uh, do that. Uh, when Rock turned the corner, oh. and we oh. her, I, uh, my heart broke. Okay, hi. I will now do this hand, and it is. Um, uh, I don't know how long have I had this set. A long time. A long time. And then my outgrowth looks like this. Uh, the crystals are, I mean, they are amazing. I have been wearing them for this long and I didn't lose any of the crystals until like two days ago when I got stuck in my bag or something. And then it, uh, I mean, it got really forced off. But other from that, they are all there and they look amazing super high quality of course Moonfly crystals so you can see that the sparkle is still there color is still there everything looks amazing they honestly look brand new still I had to fix this thumb you saw me do that uh, for the next set I really want to do something graphic in black and white so I'm gonna do like swirly stuff I think with black and white I think I'm gonna wing it a little bit but i really really want to have black and white we are going to film it here we are going to film it right here for the live and we are going to film it here so that you can see what i am doing and tessa will be sitting here seven weeks seven <laughs> fudge march 16th you did the nail art march uh, 15th you did the extension Seven weeks, so let's do it. Tesso got a new computer. Computer, finally! And that is the reason why we have been struggling with uh, one of the vlogs. Yes. But now she got an Apple and I no MacBook Pro like me. Yes. But mine is bigger. Bigger. Mine is a baby pro. Yeah, baby pro. <laughs> so we're going to film this uh, here, here, and here. Do, do, do. Okay, so this one we definitely need to push up. And we're gonna push the others up a little bit. This one also, but mostly that one. This one has a little bit of lifting because that is the one that I stabbed. This one is already fixed. But the others sit like a rock. That's the only crystal that I managed to pull off my nail. And that was so stupid. Um, if I hadn't done that, then they would still look amazeballs. Um, but yeah, crystals still look stunning. They look brand new. I love them so much. So you got blue sapphire, light sapphire, fire, and blue opal. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it falls fun as we are fast enough for another. I like to see you wiggle wiggle, for sure. Okay, we're gonna start by filing down the thickness a little bit, yes, and remove the design. Yeah, long nose forever. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah.
Ashley asks, are you going to take them completely off and form them out like you did before? No. I will, because they, my nails, they grow downwards quite a lot, so I need to rebalance them a little bit. Um, so I will kind of build them up first, and then I will file it from underneath. But I will not uh, redo the extension. The Ulis asks, best bit to remove gel and best bit for the cuticle. Um, these bits from Light Elegance, I have actually picked out, picked them out uh, for Light Elegance uh, like many years ago. And the best removal bit is the Speedy from Light Elegance. This is the one I'm using now. And then the best prep bit is uh, Preppy from Light Elegance. And yes, it is a carbide bit. Some people feel like it's scary. But you keep it on a very high speed, then it gets really like soft, and then you put no pressure on the nail and go around the cuticle area, and it works wonders. I have basically no lifting, and that is because I'm using that bit. <coughs> Are you enjoying your nails, or do you miss your short nails? Uh, both. I am enjoying them. Um, I think it looks nice on camera, and when I do like TikToks and vlogs and whatever, and I feel very like posh. But at the same time, I do miss my short nails because they were easier to handle. But um, I will. I will stick with them. Will you ever do a podcast in English? I don't know. It takes a lot of time. And it is fun. I mean, our our vlogs are pretty much a podcast, but yeah. in like a uh, visual mode. Are those your natural nail growth? Uh, no. But it looks very natural. Because I've used natural fiber. the tip, the more badass the client, I noticed. <laughs> like. <laughs> like you like. Like you like. I thought that was fun. You should print that as a poster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think LEU is like the step before my uh, certified step one. So if you do that and then go to my step one certified, then you will be super pro. No, but it, it <laughs> will, it's, a, it's a good combination. At which point do you pinch? Um, after a couple of seconds in the light, um, the amount of seconds depends on um, the gel you're working with. For the natural fiber, which I'm using right now, it takes maybe five, six seconds, depending on how thick you apply it as well. So 
what I'm doing now is that I'm gonna look, make this look like a little ugly parrot beak because I'm gonna file it from underneath. So I will probably have to do this in two steps. That's because you're rebalancing? Yes. Because my nails, especially my index finger, when they grow, they grow really like downwards like that. So I have to push it up a lot. Um, but it's hard to add enough product on here just with one layer because I need to make it really thick. So this is what it looks like now. It looks really funny. Oh my god, you and I have the same index fingers. The struggle is real. Yeah. Oh, Most people finger. have that problem, I would say. Me too. Yeah. Sometimes I don't do this, I just cut it down and start over. But I felt like doing this today. I would say natural fiber, one step, and soft pink extreme. Those are my favorites. to make it as perfect as I can to start with so I don't have to use the e-file because if you e-file your shape you will have to finish with your hand file anyway so
Det var precis exakt det här jag var sugen på. 100 typ sen. And I will never do this on my other hand. Smattrande och knappande tesso. Mm. Smatter, smatter, smatter. Mm. This is the sound of a girl hard at work. Mm. Do you apply two coats of top coat to make the nails smooth or is one coat enough? Um, for matte nails, I only do one layer because they don't have to be super smooth since it's a matte so you won't see. Like, okay, by the way, here they are shiny. If you wanted to have them shiny, this is what they look shiny. But now we are going to cleanse them. Um, if I were to put um, shine on this, then I would probably... Uh, because I'm using the gel paint and the lines are a little bit thicker, then I would probably uh, go in and buff uh, the nails before I add the top coat and then maybe add two if needed. But I would probably buff it rather than adding two coats if I have a bumpy surface and now they are matte okay I like them I like them give it a heart I have never had anything like this before in my life and I love it. I love it so much. I love it. Tim says I can't it. wait to see the Tessa do the Jack Sparrow run and that's why you won't see it. Oh, that's it guys. I'm done. I'm ready. So, I am going to do the final um, shot uh, in my camera. But this is what it looks like. I'm happy with the mat. Would have looked very cute with um, shiny as well. Uh, we'll see what happens on this hand next week. So do we get to see you're doing your wrong hand as well? Yes, as will be, but it's gonna be next week. Day two. Hello! Again. Hello. Hey. <laughs> it is the day after and uh, we are having our morning coffee, not m morning tea. Mm. I was about to say ceremonial tea. <laughs> mm. It is kind of like that. Yeah. I am editing a Light Elegance video. That's like the only thing I'm doing right now. Mm. Editing. Mm. Same with you. I'm editing mm. the vlog. Both of us are editing all the time. And I love my nails so much. Le I even, uh, you have not seen this. I actually took my DSLR camera and I went outside yesterday after I finished nails to take pictures. Mm. These are not edited, but just so that you can get a sense of the Ooh, very nice. I love it when you take pictures outside. I, outside, it's like the best. Okay, so I, and I did this other. Um, so I did. I, I I practiced. I can do that. The the snake. The snake. <laughs> and then I can do this. Okay. So this is like the normal. Okay, which one do you like? Okay, we, we'll pop up the the pictures here. Yeah. So this is the normal. Yeah. This is the snake. <laughs> This thing. Yep. Because it feels like fangs. Yeah. <laughs> you can practice that at home. Yes. So what do you guys think? Normal or snake? Yeah, so we'll continue with this. And also, can we please appreciate the combination with my nails and my new shirt? Like, 
Very nice. Oh, not that hand. I can't wait to do this hand right now. Because now this hand looks like crap. I mean, it's it's been looking like crap for a long time, but now it looks super crap. But I do love this style because it is the natural base that I love. And then I have something fun on top of it. It's funny, you know, when you are you're craving for some kind of food like really bad. This is what happened like for my nails because I was craving this for some reason. And then I finally got it. And now it's like that feeling when you are eating some e eating something that you have been craving for a long time. <laughs> That's the feeling. So I love them. Let's get back to work. Yeah. And then we will have lunch and RuPaul. Yes. <laughs> we will have RuPaul. Have him. Again, we're doing this again. Lord, the anti-sides. The most of us are dumb. It's not so 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 dumb. It's all right, so I am on my way to my parents' house. I'm gonna meet up with my mom and we are going to have our little lunch walk. And I will actually show you another area here, which is super pretty. Uh, it's just by the water, love to walk there. So Martin is not here today, he's with Christian. Um, but yeah, tag along and I will show you a little bit of the area. And it's a super nice day. And there's mom. not really a question but it's comment <laughs> it is from the Aussie family she says or well I'm, I'm assuming it's a she but they say <laughs> uh, oh my uh, oh my did not pick you both as Sims players <laughs> I make a few on my own mods for Sims 4 and have in the past uploaded them to mod to to mod the Sims the Sims 4 and the Sims resource Okay, at the moment I am trying to get to level 10 of the home decorator career, but dang lang, <laughs> land, <laughs> dang, land grabs are not happy with anything. The new song <laughs> is beautiful. Okay, uh, yes, we do uh, both play the Sims. Yes. Shkabootini <laughs> do. Dag dag. Dag dag. dag. Jama Super turbo. Is that how you th feel like when we are speaking Swedish? Because it kind of it kind of sounds like it. Kaboos the snooter. Dag dag. Um, I've been playing Sims since I don't. Well, since it came out, I started with a city, Sims, Sim City. No, Sim City. Uh, I started with that, and I played it. I played it with my dad actually. <laughs> It says that it was released in the U.S. February 4th, 2000. Hmm. Okay, I thought I was way younger, but maybe that's because I was playing SimCity um, before that. I have to check that up. It was released first time in 1989. <laughs> that was not the first... Actually, yes, it maybe it was the first one I played. Oh, I was four in 89. <laughs> 
You were not even... I was non-existent. No, no. He was not. And I remember thinking when I played SimCity, like how cool would it be if we could go into the people's houses. Mm. I, I so remember how I thought this and then it was so... I mean, I was super excited when they released uh, The Sims. And I remember playing this with my best friend Anna and the burglar and everything. It was so much fun. Uh, so yeah, I am definitely a gamer. Uh, other from that, been playing Animal Crossing ever since the pandemic. Uh, and of course, before that, I played... Well, when I was younger, I played a lot of like Mist, the Mist series and other like puzzle adventure games on the computer so on my mac and when i um had to get like surgery on my knee i had a cast going from my hip down to my foot for like six or eight weeks then i forced my mom and dad to get me a nintendo 64. <laughs> And I was 15 then and I have, I mean, I have always loved video games. I remember going to one of my friends, uh, she lived just around the corner, uh, really close to the school. So, and she had a Sega with Sonic and I loved Sonic. So I always forced myself into her house playing Sonic. That was the only thing I wanted to do. And my cousins they had a lot of nintendo so every time i was there it was all nintendo all day long so much fun and then eventually like i had a game boy before that and i had a gaming computer an amiga so i'm like an amiga og person <laughs> love amiga by the way they're actually releasing a mini amiga uh, that you can use and play on your like tv with um, with like a stick or whatever. <laughs> That's cool. That is so cool. And I got it for Christmas, but it hasn't released yet. So I think it might be released now, but Christian got it for me, so I will get it soon. So yeah, I've been a gamer forever. I think it was my mom and dad who gave me the Amiga computer when I was maybe four or five, so maybe like 89, somewhere around there. 90. I played Hugo. <laughs> Yes, Hugo. Mm. If you guys know Hugo, then you know. <laughs> what other games are you playing? I'm not like a gamer pro. I've never mm. played like computer games. Mm. That hasn't been my deal. So right now I'm playing The Sims on my PS5. Yeah, and that is yeah exactly what me and Christian are doing right now. We're yeah. playing on the PS5. So, uh, so we can use Before. mods. Mm. Mm. That's a shame, I think. Yes. Uh, yes. But I play Kingdom Hearts. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite games, mm -hmm. right? it's a game series. Mm -hmm. And then we have some Swedish games that are pretty cool. We mm -hmm. have Nightmares, that's mm. so scary but so cool. So cool. And then we have uh, the little yarn mm. thingies. What are you called? I will have to insert it here. <laughs> and then the Raven. Fox. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Crash Bandicoot Racing. Ah. On my way to work. I play Pokemon Go. Mm. Yeah, I'm a Zelda nerd. I love Zelda. And that was uh, the main reason why I wanted the Nintendo 64, just to get um, o uh, Ocarina of Time. But, you know, uh, the the last one, um, what is that one called? Uh, Breath of the Wild. Holy crap, of mother of Zelda. <laughs> ah, it is the best game that has ever been created. Breath of the Wild, if you have not played it, and if you're a gamer, oh my gosh, good. so good. That was it. That was it. That was it. Now you know that we are, um, well, half gamer. Yeah. Gamer. <laughs> I want to game more, but it's just that I don't really have the time. I love, I actually have two VR systems. I have for uh, one uh, VR system for the PS4, and then I have the Oculus uh the last one they have whatever uh, oculus and so i love beat saber so much fun uh, i would love to try that sometime it is so much fun before i will bring I, it here before i go to the lady gaga concert i will bring it here <laughs> and we will film it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay well you guys uh, take care make sure to like subscribe and click the little notification bell 
to make sure that you are not missing out on any vlogs or videos that are coming out make sure to follow us on TikTok as well yes because we do a lot of TikTok stuff right now both on my page or account and moon flares account yes and follows on our other or uh, the, 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 all of our other social media platforms yes mm. okay we'll see you next time bye